Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and uh, welcome to this database lessons video series and uh, let's continue to look into SGA. Okay. Oracle also supports smart flash cache devices. Basically, uh, you know, those solid state storage devices okay how that works let's look into that these devices are generally faster than regular spindle based hard disk drives and uh, slower than the RAM hardware where a computer's memory resides. Okay. But these devices can also be used as an extension to SGA. Okay. So let's look into that how it works. Okay. So when a data is read from disk it goes to database buffer cache right so so it's in the buffer cache okay so in the buffer cache generally you know the header information is stored and then the body of the data the buffer is stored okay and in a regular scenario where this smart flash cache device is not attached to the computer things are pretty much simple the data goes from here to the buffer in memory or ram and then it comes to the hard drive simple however if we connect smart flash devices right we can make use of them as an extension to the database buffer cache okay we can configure oracle to use the memory i mean the space available in this device as a extension to database buffer cache in that case what happens is okay oracle stores the header information okay of buffers here and the content the body right the body will be stored here okay so for any process that would like to access the data for it it's simply still it would stim, uh, it would read from the regular db buffer right using the header information it would read from the solid state device okay so this is an overview of how oracle has incorporated using uh, smart flash cache devices as an extension to SGA. So this would speed up things a little bit than reading it from hard drive. Thank you for watching.